Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to fix the E0 error on your HP DeskJet printer. For the purpose of this demonstration, I'm going to be using a HP DeskJet 2810E, but don't worry if you don't have the same model as me. If you have a HP DeskJet in the 2600, 2700 or 2800 series, it's all pretty much the same. So this will work with you. The error means the same thing. If you have a DeskJet that isn't within those series, don't worry. Um, it will still work again it's the same error so the first thing i want to do is actually go through what the e0 error is now the e0 error according to the user manual from hp themselves is unusable cartridge it says check hp software and follow instructions to replace it now i've seen this error come up for a few different reasons the first reason i've seen the error come up with and this is probably the most common one it is just means the ink has ran out um so the Sometimes the printer doesn't rec realize, recognize that there's no ink and it just errors out and it says that there's an issue. Um, so the first thing you're really going to want to try is just get new ink cartridges and replace them. If you've put in new ink cartridges already, then um, you're going to want to see what the issue is there. So there's a few things that can be causing this problem. Now, a lot of people decide to buy um, non-HP ink cartridges. Now, if you do that, I'm on your side. I think it's cool. However, HP don't like that because the way big printer make their money is through selling people like you and I ink cartridges. Uh, this printer was quite cheap. And you might be wondering, why was this so cheap? Well, it's because you are going to need to keep buying ink cartridges from them, um, small or large ones. And there's a lot of companies that make really cheaper alternative ones that fit the printer. But as you'll see when you signed up on the app and when you opened your box, HP make it very clear that you should only use genuine cartridges because, like I said, that is how they make their business. So if you have a non-genuine HP cartridge and from the jump it's not working and you're getting the E0 error, unfortunately, it's very likely that it's just completely incompatible and your HP printer has wisened up to the fact that you are not going to give HP any more money. Um, if that's the case for you, then unfortunately I'd recommend probably going back to the seller and seeing if you can return them on Amazon. But it is probably likely that there's a disclaimer when you bought it that says no returns if your printer doesn't accept it. So maybe leave them a bad review. However, if you have brand new HP cartridges that should be working, I would recommend this basic fix. Now, um, what you can do is a basic fix. The easiest one is to just pull out the cap, pull out the power cable and put it back in. That fixes most things in this world, just turning it on and off again. However, what we'll do for our normal fix is we'll first go into the actual um, ink cartridge tray itself. You'll see in a second, it's gonna very nicely, oh, it should have, well, it's gonna very nicely present us with the ink. Now, remember, you're gonna wanna put your tricolor ink on the left and your black color ink on the right. If your tricolor and black color inks are mismatched or are the wrong way around, that's your problem. Um, that's what's causing your E0 error. So I'm going to pull one of these out just to show you. When you're pulling these out, put it down and then pull towards you. When you get these ink cartridges, sometimes there's a covering on this section. So just make sure that your covering is peeled off. This looks like there's a covering, but this is actually uh, what is what it looks like once you peel it off. There's like a slight film on there, but when they come, this film is covered. So just make sure that um, the film is removed because that could be preventing your um, print cartridge from working. Now, one of the easiest ways to fix this is just to take both of these out and then put them back in. But remember, you have to put it in order. Black on the left, uh, sorry, tricolor on the left, black on the white, on the right. Um, now, something else worth mentioning is that you can only replace this with 305 or 305 XL HP cartridges. Now you can get, like I said, you can get fake ones, but they might not work. Um, but if you have say a 306 or a 307, um, it probably won't fit. Um, if you're using a slightly different printer, you can have a look. Um, it says specifically what kind of cartridge that you need. And uh, for this one, it's 305. So to put it back in, face it this way, Put it in, slide, and then I like to put my finger here for leverage, and I just click it back in. Be a bit careful; it's kind of flimsy, to be honest with you. And then, oh, and then <laughs> drop my camera there. And then we will shut this down, shut this, and I like to shut this too. 
and your printer should be good to go. If you're still facing the E0 error, like I said at the beginning of the video, the easiest way to do this is just to get new ink cartridges. If after new ink cartridges, you're still receiving the issue, watch my video on how to factory reset your printer and then try and replace the ink cartridges then. And if that still doesn't work, then unfortunately you might need to reach out to HP for a replacement or just buy the bullet and buy another replacement. These are about $45 or so, and it comes with ink. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully that helped and goodbye.